everyone, this is Tyler Rustin, and this video is about personal finance. I'm very passionate about personal finance because if you look at a lot of the statistics, I think that um, there are a lot of challenges that people experience in their life based on not really having the proper education around personal finances. Divorce rate, divorces happen because of personal finance and finance problems. Um, and I think I read somewhere that like only 10% of people can retire without government assistance. And that's really because they're not educated around personal finance. They're not educated around investing, saving, and uh, you know they haven't really created those disciplines. So I'm very passionate about the subject. I'm also very passionate about capital accumulation. I think the idea that money can exponentially create more money is fascinating to me. And so from a very early age, I've been investing and I've been very interested in growing my wealth. And in that journey, my friend and I created a tool that we use to track our finances. And we track a couple things, um, expenses, income, but we also track our investment income, which I think is one of the most important metrics um, for me at least right now. Um, so the idea is that you want to get your investment income up, the income that's coming in with you not really working for the, uh, the income. That's the best income, right? You're not putting any time in, but money's just rolling in. Um, and so we created a tool to manage that and to just keep track of your finances so you can get a better view of what's going on. So this is a tool right here. As you can see, it's breaking down, broken down by month. So every month is the interval in which we, we track our, our finances. Um, and just to start with the inputs, in yellow are all of my fixed expenses. So these aren't real numbers, um, they're dummy, dummy numbers, this is just a template. But if your rent is 2,000, 1,000, 500, just put that in. If it's 10,000, put it in here. What else are your fixed expenses? And then below, you know, my friend actually records every single expense. So when he spends $8 at Chipotle, he writes that down. That's a little bit much for me. So every time I pay off my credit card, I just put down, uh, the amount that I paid off and I usually do that twice a month and I bring the balance to zero. You shouldn't hold a, count, a balance in your, uh, on your credit card. So that's your expenses and this data then funnels into your fixed and variable expenses for the month as well as your total expenses. On the right hand column is your income, right? So working income is the income you'll get from your full-time or part-time job. If you work for a company then put that company in here Every time you get paid, you can put in your income. So if you're getting paid $2,000 one month and you know $1,500 the next month, go ahead and put that in here. And that'll calculate in your active income section right here. Below that is your investment income. And so if you own property and the property cash flows every single month, Whatever that cash flow amount is, I log that here in my um, as an investment. So uh, one of my properties is on a street called Meadow Bluff Court. Um, so you put Meadow Bluff Court, you can put the cash flow per month. Um, and so you can put the properties in here that you own. And if you don't own any, maybe it's a good motivation to start saving for a down payment to be able to do that. Um, I also invest have invested in private equity deals. So if you do any private equity and you get quarterly distributions, what I do is I take that quarterly distribution, I divide it by three because there's three months in the quarter, and then I multiply that by 65% because I know at the end of the year I'm going to have to pay taxes and I don't want that to be accounted for um, because I don't think it's a true representation of the actual value I'm gaining. But whatever that number is after I take taxes out of it, I put that in here. And then the last bucket for me has been um, if you own any um, stocks, any uh, cryptocurrencies, I include in that bucket as well. Anything that's not really spitting off cash flow for you, but it has value, you anticipate it's going to be appreciating. What I do is I take uh, whatever the total amount you have invested, I divide that by 12 for uh, 12 months in the year, and I multiply that by 4%. Um, and that's kind of a golden rule is that you can over time expect a 4% return. Now I'm shooting for a way higher return than that, but as far as like recording that as income, I think being more conservative is the best way to go about it. 
And so all of this funnels into our investment income tab here. And what this will calculate for you is it'll calculate how profitable are you every single month. You know, if you think about yourself as a business, are you spending more than you're making? You know, that's not a good situation. And, uh, you know, or are you saving a good percentage of your income? So how much are you saving dollar-wise? And also, what percent of your income are you saving? Are you saving 10%? Are you saving 50%? Are you saving 75%? I recommend trying to get above 50%, right? Cut your expenses, work hard, try to boost your income and save more than 50% of what you make. Um, and then below that is something that I call the freedom meter. And the freedom meter is your investment income against your expenses. And the idea is if your investment income equals your expenses, you don't need to work anymore. If you just want to maintain the current lifestyle that you have, you could retire and uh, not work ever again. Now, me personally, I don't think I'll ever retire. I absolutely love working, and uh, I, I like the way that in which I can contribute to people through my work. Um, but if you're interested in arts or if you're interested in something that might not pay as well, get that freedom meter to 100% and pursue your passion, right? So this should enable you to work on that path. And I know so many people working on that. And I think that that's noble. It's just whatever your interests align to, right? Mine interest, I'm interested in business and I like kind of uh, that. So I'm going to continue to do that. But if that's not your passion, but you're in it for the money, maybe this is a tool for you to track things and help yourself stay motivated so that you can get into something that you're really passionate about. Lastly, at the bottom, there's a display tab. And this is where that data will funnel into a chart for you. So you can actually see your income over time, your expenses over time, and your investment income. And so this will help you track and see your progress over time. Maybe you change where you're living and that creates a, a lot more um, uh, extra income and profit. And so this has been a very helpful tool for myself, and I believe my friend is continuing to use it as well. And I've, ha I've shared it with a few people. They all felt it was helpful, so I thought I would make a post. If you'd like me to share this with you, just send me a quick message to say, hey, please share, and uh, I'll shoot you a link so you can take this and save it as your own. I hope this was helpful, and please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions.